Hi, it's Barbara with Styles for Miles 79, back with another album. I believe this album is a cream muslin two ring binder album from uh, Graphic 45. I had it in my stash. It didn't have any packaging on it and it's the one that my daughter chose to have her album made out of. This is an album for um, the renovation of their house back in May of 2023 this year. So I thought I'd show you everything I've got in here. Um, the paper pack is 49 and Market's Classic Blue Moon 6x8 collection. Um, and I've used some uh, stamps in here that are old and I don't believe they're available anymore so I'm not going to list them and then some um, just some uh, eighth inch eyelets and you know with the crocodile that's pretty much it so here we go I think you can see it well enough so I did a lot of paper piecing. The six by eight papers really fit well in here and I did a lot of fussy cutting while I was watching movies. And then uh, it came with the pocket pages. So all I had to do was mount the photographs on the other side of these. And I, I started with the before pictures and worked my way through to the after pictures. And I think you can see it well enough. I think I'll just leave it right here. So um, again, I left spots for her to do some journaling and um, again mounted, and I mounted just on some gray paper from um, Michaels. They have, uh, you know, the coordinating card stocks. So I just picked out a nice warm gray. Then I made a little doodad with magnets. These have magnets underneath them from, um, oh, who is it? Basic Gray, I believe. And then they fold out with all their, uh, when we went looking for tile. And these are just from um, Staples. I just got these from Staples. More fussy cutting. I did another one. I did a tab on this one just because I thought it needed more than just a black one. And it also comes out like so. These are all the different granites that they looked at. And they looked at quartz as well, but they settled on granite. And I, this paper was just so pretty. Um, all I did was hide a stamp under, um, I cut out a copy, another piece of it, and I just, I fussy cut a whole bunch of this stuff. but. I used that one to cover the stamp. Yes, I could have put it in beforehand, but I didn't think of doing this until after the paper was down. Something to think about while you're building. And then um, it comes with the cream pages, craft pages, and vellum pages. And I did take out a few because this album ended up really big. So I took out a few pages that I just didn't use. And then <clears throat> did a little small waterfall. We were taking care of the puppy next door, so the boys got to go see the puppy. Again, the paper's so pretty, I didn't do anything else to it. And she had, um, at during the same time, she um, was growing potatoes, so this was her first batch. They did, they redid their flooring. And it was so easy just to go through and do the papers first, and then I mounted the pictures on the gray and then put them down. And then going out to a new thing, went to um, went out for my daughter's uh, birthday. Went out to a pool, did a flip. And the kids playing with resins, and then this one I did a flip up, and I just um, I disguised the flip, though you know disguised this like father like son. I just thought it would be cute to hide it so it would show later. More pictures. This is um, putting the kitchen together. And I was going to do a shaker for the front of the, the book uh, back in here, but the book got so thick that I didn't do it. Um, it's a uh, scrapbook.com 
and I got it all set, but I'm going to make a card out of it instead. So I just took this this uh, die cut fits here, and then um, you can do one for the for the acetate, and I just took that and put it on there. More of the same, just pictures, and then um, I did a lot of fussy cutting and added stuff to the pages so that it um, coincided with what's in the back. Um, butterflies here and there from the papers. Again, more fussy cutting, adding some green because the blue was so just blue. Um, all their choices of, of sinks and then what should they ended up choosing. Again, the paper's so pretty, there was nothing else I needed to do. Here's for writing, and this is where I started doing the um, the eyelets. And I thought this would be good for her for more writing. And then these are multiple size. And I used um, the uh, Project Life app to size my photos and print them out. And that's a really good app. It's free, and you get a lot of stuff with it. So go look that up online. You'll you'll find it's fantastic. Chris did a build out on the wall because this is an outside wall and you can't run the electric on there. So I figured that she'll explain that right here. And this is what it ended up looking like afterwards. And they have their, the, the dog run is on the outside of this wall. So they have their dog kennel here. I thought that was a fantastic idea. And here's the end result and the new kitchen. And then another, just a collage, so that they have some, so she has places to write some more stuff. And then I just wrote a little note here. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. Um, it was a labor of love. It took me a couple of weeks with just little bits of time in the morning. And um, yeah, that's it. Hope you like it. Bye. Have a great day. Be brave. Be creative.